Hello YouTube. Today we are going to have some tricky questions in a C language. So we all know about printf. So what is the form for printf? Yep, the answer is print format. The very second question is, what if if you want to have a printf without using a semicolon? So you can write a printf without a semicolon. Yes, you can write it. The example I have shown over here is, you can have a printf within a if statement. The logic behind is that in C you can end the statement either by using two curly braces or a semicolon. So as my trick question was that if you want printf to be terminated without a semicolon, you can use if within a condition. So whenever you are writing any if, it always tests for the condition. So automatically the syntax will be executed. So the output will be the whatever we have written over here. The very second tricky question is that what will out of this so any guesses yep the answer will be 7 as there are 7 letters in HTL verbs so let's see the output yes the answer is 7 so how this execution comes out see printf executes printf so it prints print HTL verbs next it prints a value so printf is a function that returns an integer value that are number of strings over here. So it will return you the output 7. So the final output will be HTL verbs 7. The very next trick question is that what is the output of this? Uh, quite lengthy program. I will explain you the code first of all. As I said that if will be executed, it will check the condition. So it checks the condition, so it print goes to printf, again it prints HTL space webs, so the total characters are 8. Because of one space in from the previous output, the answer would be 7, but due to the space, it will increment 1, so it will be 8. So the output will be HTL space webs 8, so this will be the highlighted output. Again, if only gets failure, if it has a false or 0. So here we are getting an STL space WAPS 8. So it will again execute this O yes in a new line. So the else won't be executed. Next it will end. So let's see the final output. That's it. Thank you. So please keep subscribing for more videos on tricky questions in C. Thank you.